All right, I just posted this on Twitter, this new entry. Now, look, I posted the Astro Hour for Gold today, all right? And what we're looking for, just as an example on how to set up your trades, this is the first take profit. I'm always opening two positions. As you can see, the stop loss is just at the daily pivot there, all right? So once this takes profit on the first one, the second one, the second take profit, well, hopefully it'll take profit. It's just on the edge, as you can see, right? The other one's all the way up there at 3,300, okay? So obviously, obviously what's going to happen is this. Let me move this into a five-minute chart. Here I've got another astro hour, okay? So it's all important to understand what's happening here. If this trade does go up, okay, in my direction, it's great. If it doesn't, my stop loss is really tight. No big deal. But at least we should go up a little bit. That should cover the stop and at least come up to here. Now, if I come up to here, that's already one to four risk return ratio just on the closing price of yesterday and the opening prices here. And that's the previous day's high. All right. So if it gets there, all right, so it just turned from the edge, as you can see on the one minute chart. But in any case, even if it goes bad or pear shaped and I get stopped out, the stop loss is really, really tight. But essentially, I'm covering the stop with just a little bit of profit, I'm not getting greedy with the take, take one profit level. And why have I got 2,300 way, way up there? Because it's really going to depend on the four uh, at the aspects that's happening today in New York. All right. So if the market does go up, it should make an all time high today. It's either going to make an all time high or it's already done it. OK, or it's already done it here. OK, but yesterday I knew we'd have an all time high going even higher than yesterday. So either that's going to happen. We're going to go higher, high, and then we're going to look for a sell off and that level uh, can be around that 2,300. Why? Because it's a nice round number and it's $30 away. And we've got news coming out. All right. So bring all that together. Um, and on Friday, we've got non-farm payroll news coming out. So we'll see how this pans out. But as you can see, this is all like pretty much on the dot. You can enter on a one minute time frame just on where you got the target. You see one minute before here, it was right next to the daily pivot. So it was around here and that's the astro hour. So as soon as we got in there, I understood that this was like, okay. And then I put the stop loss really tight just on the daily. Why? Because it's been below the daily before and we've been up. Okay. So, you know, it shouldn't do anything below that if it's going to go up. If I'm wrong, I don't want to stay in the trade. If I'm wrong, I do want to get stopped out, and that's okay, all right? So no big deal. And this is how I'm trading. This is sometimes it's a bit difficult for people to trade with astro hours because it's just new for us. But if you think about it, it's quite logical. If we do the technical analysis correctly, if I understand what I want to do, even if you want to buy, sell, and even if you're wrong, right? Your stop loss is so tight, your risk return is really good on the smaller time frame that it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, more often than not, you're going to win because your, your stop losses are really tight. Okay, um, And normally on gold, who would put such a stop loss? It's like $1.50, all right, something like that. So the stop losses are really tight. And if you enter at the right time, you should be okay. Also today, while I was doing the technical analysis, let me bring this here. Um, I wasn't that keen on selling gold simply because, as you can see, it was just a bit too, you know, it was like in between levels here. So I rather buy on the cheap side or if I'm going to sell, sell on the high side. And because there was, uh, because there are actually levels on New York, um, Astro hours in New York that are actually going to be really important. It's going to take us, you know, into levels um, where it's going to be a bit weird to, you know, it's going to be a bit 
uncertain, let's say, all right? So for me, it's uncertain anyway, right? So the better option was if I'm gonna do something and if I'm expecting um, high levels um, to buy it cheap and then see how things pan out, all right? The other thing today during the technical analysis, I did do the Euro dollar. I sold right here while I was doing the video. I took some profit from there, moved the stop forward. It didn't get stopped out, but when it came back down here, made a higher low. I said, okay, it made a higher low, so it's time to kind of get out of this and we'll see how things pan out. Why? Because, let me put this into a 15 minute chart, so technical analysis while, while you'll see. From the technical analysis perspective, this is the low of yesterday. Market breaks the low, sweeps all the stops, puts all the breakout sellers into the trade and locks them in. All right, so this has also the possibility to shoot up. So I don't know. So while being here, I took that, you know, I took the opportunity, took the profit out, no, no big deal. Even down to here, it was like one to four risk return after the trade covered itself. The trade covered itself right on the spot. As you can see, one bar down, the trade was already covered. So no problem. And then now we'll have to wait and see because we've got higher lows happening here and the market took out the low of the previous day low. So we'll have to wait and see and see how things pan out with the news. All right. And that's that. And this is that gold trade. All right. So as you can see, not even a one bar stop loss down here, right on the daily pivot. And this is the kind of thing you want to be looking at. If the market comes back and down again into this zone, it's also okay because from this, from, from these astro hours, you can still go long into there. You can still push up into there. If we end up somewhere high at four o'clock, we've got to be careful because then, you know, it's going to, it's going to look for a sell position. Also, um, remember Wednesday, Thursday and fr uh, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday for gold are swing days and the market is high. So they're either going to sell today or tomorrow. All right. So if the market does go up. We're also looking for sales. We're not in a rush either. So you don't have to rush the trade. No, you know, no real dramas in this case. I'm just going to put this back into the one minute chart and take us there. And that's how it is. All right. Okay, so I hope this short video helped on how you can make an entry with a tight stop loss, first level take profit, and then basically once you covered the trade, it's a free trade. Even if it goes pear shaped, you're not going to lose. If you lose both trades, because sometimes it happens and look, it didn't even, it just, you know, on the edge turned around. It sometimes happens, but it's not a problem, guys. All right. It's not a problem. Really, our stop losses are so tight, it just becomes irrelevant when you're trading, really, immaterial um, amounts.